Hello beautiful beings, my name is Coivier. I am the creator of Juju Time and I have for you um, a very just quick message from your guides. Um, this is just going to be a general message of, of what it is that you need to know, alright? Just what's the message, alright? So, I want you to get comfortable, get relaxed and let us begin. Okay, we have uh, the first card is the Ace of Clubs. Put that here. All right, the next card is the Ten of Clubs. All right. Okay, and this third card is the Five of Spades. All right, we have a birth. There's a birthing, a rebirthing, a birthing. I mean, something that I am feeling that is unexpected it is unexpected and it's coming in a time where defeat like this feeling of defeat or this feeling like uh like there's not enough there is there is this feeling of just lack there's this feeling of lack and this rebirth um This is definitely a message from your guides to for a lot of you to continue on with your journey of learning, with your journey of growth, with your journey of for I hear meditation. Meditation and connecting back to them. Connecting back to God, connecting back to your spiritual house, to your guides. Like there's this need to connect back. There's this need to connect back. And for some of you, that connection back is related to meditation. But I'm also feeling like that connection back is back to your back to your magic back to your magic um, going back to that magic um, yeah I wonder well this is a general message but there's this Feeling as though you've slipped off, like you've sort of, perhaps not on purpose, not, you know, perhaps not on purpose, but perhaps haven't, you haven't been um, studying as you should, or you haven't been studying um, as your guides Mm -hmm. Yeah, as your guides have instructed you to do before or instructed you to do in the past or something along those lines, like you were given instructions, but then for some of you, a lot of something may have happened or perhaps your own energy was off and it was like a big dip. It was just like this big dip of just not feeling motivated or not feeling 
um, aligned or something was off, okay? Um, and there's a need for you to go back, to make that choice, to connect back to God, connect back to your to your guides, to your ancestors, just connect back to your magic. Mm -hmm. This rebirthing that is happening, it's like this tower moment. Um, perhaps it's through this meditation, perhaps it's through the, uh, it's through reconnecting your magic. This is a general reading, so, um, so for more specifics, uh, definitely, um, you would need to schedule a reading with me. Um, but, but from what? But but in general though, in general, there is this enlightenment period that is coming your way or you are currently in. And it's it's it is it is very enlightened. It's almost it is with this ten of clubs, it's giving me um tower moment. It's giving me tower vibes. Um if you know the Rider Weight deck, then um um, that is the energy that I'm getting from it. And this, this rebirthing, this re, this reawakening. See, now I'm also thinking judgment card as well in the major arcana. Yeah, I'm getting judgment and, um, um, and the tower card. Um, but this is very important for those watching this video this this tower period that you are coming into or you are in it's very important for your manifestations for that physical manifestations because this enlightenment this tower this rebirthing um this is going to be all happening Hmm, okay. It's going to be happening internally. Um, but I also received, I also got this feeling just now that there's a change in situation. Like there's something, something that some of you have been waiting for. And it felt like a never ending story of like just the same thing keeps happening again. And finally, there's a resolution to that situation. Uh, so whoever needed to know that, th that's the enlightenment. Uh, so for, for some, it's very internal um, because of this sort of dip that you've had. There's a little dip that you've had. And for others, it's like this f something that you've been waiting for and that changing and that moment sort of giving you like this rebirth this this just this life just this life again um especially when it comes towards your physical manifestations your abundance yourself um mm. oh whoa that's a lot okay let's get more let's get more okay hmm. all righty the card is oh my goodness okay <laughs> it's the um the card um full moon in taurus out of the moonology deck and it says your dreams need a practical plan if you were in my in my stories this card actually came up um when in my stories i did a very quick like um card of the day um and it was this card so this has been the theme of making things practical making your dreams practical making things happen um putting action there is a lot of uh there's energy there is momentum behind what it is that you are wanting there is spirit behind what you are wanting and now there's this energy of 
okay, now let's create a practical plan that works for you. Okay. And I emphasize, I'm emphasizing work for you because I'm also now getting this feeling of putting too much on your plate. Putting so much on your plate and then, uh, and then when you are not ticking off your checklist, then that's when that that's when that dip happens. It's like, oh, I couldn't do what's on my list. Oh, how am I, how am I supposed to have this in my life or do this or whatever? And I can't even um, stay dedicated to myself. I can't stay dedicated. Um, and I would say work with your schedule. Um, I've had to work with my schedule a lot anytime that I feel like um, my plate is full um, and there's so much that needs to be done it's working with my schedule work with um, you know work with my week and how I'm feeling but there is this feeling as there's this there's this knowing that I'm feeling of just being so motivated and then um, not completing everything on your list. And then that defeat, those feelings that are associated with defeat or lack, um, just sort of sneak in. So create a practical plan that works for you and only, and only you, okay? Um, okay, the card that came out here is the card of joy it's blurry but um it's joy as i do will so mote it be let joy and light radiate from me this is about not sticking in that not sticking in that lack mentality um sticking in that non-abundance um you have abundance the fact that um uh, we have the ace of clubs here and the ten of clubs together. This is something that's making its round. Like it's something that is coming to you. It's something that is just inevitable. You know, it's just, it is, it is, it just is. Okay. So these slumps that you get into, like these slumps, um, are meant for you to learn what works for you and what does not work for you. This is for you, you're on the learning process of, yeah, this, you know, I thought this is gonna work for me, it doesn't work for me, or I need to adjust my schedule when it comes to this because I'm getting too stressed out or I'm not resting enough or I'm not being challenged enough. Perhaps you're not being challenged enough and that it, that's a possibility too. Find what works for you. Find your joy. Find your flow. All right. Um, there's a side message about your ministry. Um, your ministry as in like what it is that you have to say. What it is that you have to give. Um, if you're wondering if you have anything to give. Yes. <laughs> you do have something to give. You have something to share. You have something to say. And it's okay to say it. Your guides want you to say it. If you're here, then yes, your guides want you to say it. Um, yes, let joy and light radiate from me. All right, uh, this card coming, uh, I also am getting the, um, this idea, not idea, but this need for your guides to let you know to be authentic. Just be authentic to you or learn. What what does that even mean for you? What does it mean to be authentic to you? What does it mean? And, and um, for a lot of you, as it is for myself, it's following your joy. Um, it's following what makes you happy, what makes you shine. And that in itself is your ministry. It is what you have to say um, in, in regards to helping other people through, through that as well. Because there is enough. There is enough. There is 
there is no lack. There is um, a lesson that I've been learning is that there's enough. And there is no lack in you. There's no lack in your situation, in your dreams. There's no lack inside of your dreams. All right? There is no defeat when it comes to your dreams. You just need a practical plan. This came out again this week. Okay. So most likely, perhaps you were in my stories and you saw this and you needed to see it again or you didn't look at my stories <laughs> and it's like, all right, this is our chance. So there you go. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for being with me in this um, very quick reading. I give thanks to your guides and my guides, and I will see you all in my next video. Truth and love.